I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm just going to get a, a few things started here. Are you still there? I think I lost you. Come back up. There you go. There we are. And let me, me. Uh, as we asked uh, permission to record, so I think you have to. I said yes. Okay. I'm going to hit record. I'm going to go live on Facebook and uh, let's see. Got that. And I'm going to hit record. And it doesn't seem to be recording, but uh, we'll just check if we're on Facebook Live and uh, make sure all that stuff's going. How are you doing today? I am doing well today. Excellent. It's a beautiful day in paradise. Yeah, you're down in Florida, it looks like. Yes, I'm down in southwest Florida right now. Let me just uh, share this on a couple of sites real quick. And then we'll get some uh, activity going. Where are you from? I'm uh, up in Nashville. I, uh, okay. You're probably familiar with uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama. Yes, very. Uh, I used to uh, live in that area. So uh, for about 10 years, Orange Beach, Alabama. Okay. So let me just, uh, I'm doing this a little bit different. I'm on my laptop today versus my mobile device, but uh, my laptop's mobile. But uh, hey, everybody, uh, my name is Jim Parr. Welcome to Pitch Investors Live. I started as an entrepreneur when I was six months old. And let me explain that because uh, not many people start as an entrepreneur at six months old. So I was a child actor, actually did lots of casting calls, auditions. I had to pitch a lot of people, different directors, producers, just like, uh, uh, what we're doing today. So I own several companies uh, and partnered in many, including a recent venture that I got off of uh, Pitch Investors Live uh, called Boobalicious. So it's a uh, growing, rapidly growing company, very successful with Joni. But today through this amazing uh, platform, Pitch Investors Live, which is available for download right now, I'm being pitched live on my mobile device. So uh, what a great app. Anywhere, any, you know, uh, he's in Florida, I'm in Nashville. You can pitch anywhere, anytime, anywhere in the world from your mobile device. So what are you waiting for? Download the app right now before we get started and make your dreams reality. A lot of people hold on to their dreams and they never get going uh, for the fact that they um, just are afraid to uh, implement something or they just don't know what to do. So uh, with that said, uh, Eric uh, Peterson uh, is from Florida, St. Augustine, and tell us a little bit about Wingman. Okay. I'm, I'm a right. big fan in the food industry. I'll just tell all you right, that. First of all, because... Jim, Jim, Eric uh -huh. is not here. Eric right now is uh, in Daytona. Okay. Um, he is in the process right now. We're looking at uh, having some of our sauces. Okay. It seems like we have a connection error on your side, maybe. Hang on a minute. This is, you know, some of the things that we go through when, uh, when we are doing something through mobile devices. So uh, are you there? I'm here. Okay, I lost. Wingman started. I lost. Wingman you started. Eric is in Daytona, so start over, and uh, we'll get. All right, Eric's going. in Daytona right now. He's um, the sauces that he creates for the wings. Uh, okay. We're looking at getting bottled. Um, he's doing that right now. Um, I'm Rob Peterson, and I'm wow. down here in Naples right now. Um, okay. I've spent 27 years in St. Augustine. Um, Winging has started in 2013. Uh, we've been cooking wings and having fun with people. Um, we've won, uh, this year we won the 2018 uh, People's Choice Award. We've won Northeast Florida Wing Competition 
our wings and our sauces is what makes it. All right, the wings are cooked to that crispness without it being overcooked. Um, okay. The sauces, we have 20 different sauces and they're all, they're all made from scratch. Plus we have daddle pepper sauces, which most people don't know what a daddle pepper is, but it's a uh, pepper that grows in Menorca, Spain and in St. Augustine, Florida. They have a very sweet hot to it and they are absolutely delicious. Um, we we started out just doing neighborhoods with the food truck. Um, now we do these huge ungated and gated communities. Um, we're at different breweries. We go to competitions and festivals. And uh, we're looking for right now is to add another food truck to the business. Okay. And we want to run this food truck in a different city. Wingate has a huge, has a huge um, notoriety in St. Augustine, Jacksonville, down to Daytona. We want to expand that. And uh, areas that we're looking at are growth areas and also areas that have these communities because we, you do a lot of business with them. They have How many? Uh, these communities have parties going on and festivals all the time. Okay. Is it, is it, uh, you know, I know Florida's year round. Does it seem to be a seasonal business for you or is it a year round business? This is a year round business. Okay. How, how many trucks are you currently running? We're running one right now plus doing catering. Okay. So what, what is the majority of your business revenue wise? Is it the catering or is it that food truck? It is, it is the food truck. It's the food truck. Okay. And um, uh, it, with that said, when you're, you are doing catering, how are you preparing those meals? Do you have a, a stationary kitchen somewhere or is it out of the food truck that you cater? Uh, we bring cater? it with the, we show up with the food truck and serve. Okay. And uh, I'm just curious, um, over the, the years, you said uh, 2013, correct, that you've been in business? Yes, sir. How has your growth been? Obviously, how, how old is the food truck? Have you had the food truck since then? We've had it the whole time, yes, sir. And what, um, with that food truck, how what has been the percentage of growth over the last five years let's just say uh each year how how much are you growing in uh revenue uh in the beginning the first two years the growth rate was around 40 percent okay we were breaking uh kind of like breaking bones getting into the business okay right uh my my background is service um okay management in that of uh restaurants and bars um okay good in the last four years five years we have grown around almost 600 percent a year oh, we're wow. everywhere where we, we work every day okay and are you are you able to sustain uh obviously you can't sustain that growth with just one truck how no, are you growing? We need more. How are it's you the growing? locations we choose. Uh, we have a huge following online and in social media. Um, okay. We have businesses all over our town. We do lunch and dinner. So at lunchtime, we are out there, let's say over at the professionals park with all the doctors, and we're serving that day out there for them because we were brought in. Um, okay. On the afternoons, getting ready for the evening, we might be over at Dog Rose Brewery. We might be at the World Golf Village. What is uh, what are your margins like? Uh, you know, in the restaurant business, you know, I own several restaurants. Um, we always had a plate cost, and obviously, it's a little bit different. But I mean, whether you're serving in a basket or a plate, um, you probably know what that number is but what are your 
margins your uh, margins Our, our food costs, our food costs run right now around twenty eight percent lower. But okay. The average your plated wings? meal is around twelve. Um, the plated meal is how much? That's oh, uh, let's say uh, twelve dollars. Okay. It's about the average food cost. A normal customer walks up and spends buying wings. Yeah, they seem to. Spend... Okay. And the the wings, you know, going into uh, we used to do a lot of wings in some of our businesses. Um, I'm not sure if he froze again. Um, are are you getting those wings fresh? Or are you getting them from a uh, uh, like Cisco or where where do you get your wings from? Do you source them? Yeah, you're cutting out a little bit. You got a real spotty signal. I'm gonna wait till you come back in, and then uh, we'll uh, see if I can uh, rephrase that question. Yeah, I we got you our, back now. All right, we get our wings from U.S. Foods, 7% of the okay. time, and Restaurant Depot. Every, it seems to be one everywhere we go. And are they frozen or fresh? Fresh. Okay, that's good. No, you, if you and, use frozen, it breaks down the, the meat of the chicken, and they don't yeah. crisp up, they don't, you know, they don't get that, I don't want to give away a proprietary secret of how long we cook them. So yeah, they, they, they don't. Uh, they don't crisp up, you know what I mean? Yeah, they don't melt in your mouth right. uh, type where it's crisp on the outside, moist on the inside. You, that's right. Yeah. Frozen, and if you get a frozen, uh, a frozen product doesn't um, doesn't qualify to do that. Yeah. So what uh, – tell me a little bit um, on your uh, profits. Um, you know, tell us a little bit, if you don't mind sharing – uh, your what you do on a truck, uh, you know, last year, what did you do on the truck and what was your profit on that? Profit on that. I believe that, Jim, is something you want to talk to Eric about. Okay. Okay. I understand. Do you guys have a business plan that you put together? Yes. Yeah, we do. Okay. How much, let me ask you this. How much is a truck? I, I kind of have a great idea because uh, I was working on a, a TV show um, with a producer and it, it was a uh, food truck episode. And uh, so I have an idea because we we're going to build a few of them. I know they're pretty costly. What What is one of your trucks cost for uh, to produce one of those trucks? A basic truck and everything that you want is probably going to be around 39. If you want everything, it's going to be around 50, 50, maybe 70, depending on the refrigeration. Okay. Well, that's, that seems okay. pretty reasonable because when we're looking at them, they're up around a hundred grand. hundred and two, right? Oh, a hundred, over a hundred thousand. Yeah. And they you can get those. They're huge. To 150. But uh, right now we're looking at some people who have, uh, haven't done so well. Okay. And are so looking. You, so yeah, that's that's a great great way to. So uh, if, so that, that was a good no. one. Um, if you get a truck that's already in existence, it's just a few modifications, and then you're turning around and rewrapping it. And so those are basically besides the parts and all that for the truck to get it going. So you're uh, we're looking at between 39 and 60,000 to find a truck in that range. And we've okay. already found one that we're looking at. And I would imagine on uh, marketing your budgets, I looked online a little bit. Uh, I, I didn't see, I was trying to find out more on you. I found a place in South Carolina, um, but uh, I, I don't know if you're aware of that company up there, but they seem more stationary. They're not a food truck. And so tell me a little bit, um, have you looked at doing any trademarking on the name? Um, 
and to secure that name and how many trucks are you looking at to put in in the next 12 months let's just say I think I lost you again there. I need right, my on. other wingman. Okay, there we go. I got you right, now. You go. Ask me the question. I didn't catch the end of the question. Yeah, so um, you, you're looking at trucks. Uh, tell me, have you looked at trademark in the name? And uh, because I saw a company in South Carolina with a similar name. Uh, yes. Um, uh, Eric's already dealing with an attorney. Okay. One of our local ones in, in St. Augustine on getting everything done for that. Okay. Yeah, because I could see some, uh, you know, in addition to your food, you know, apparel doesn't have, you know, you, you can mark it up pretty good if you get the right wholesaler. Like but what's that? Yeah, there like you this? go. There you go. Have because the t-shirts too, Okay. You know, the big thing, and uh, I own a marketing company myself, uh, the big thing in marketing is to create that tribe, you know, create that right, a whole uh, community. Of, yeah, create a community of people Yeah, behind you that, you know, the, the crazy fans, the crazy wing it fans, let's just say it, um, but come up with some catchphrases uh, for wing it. And, you know, we used to... Uh, I used to have a, a crab house uh, that did seafood, and we always said we had the best legs in town. So, um, so there's some great catchy phrases for food, and people love that that kind of apparel, you know. But uh, to create that community and stuff like that is huge. So, um, well, right so now in St. Augustine, in St. Augustine, we use winging it, hanging loose in the 904. Yeah, I like that. Because our, you know, our, our chickens kind of ride on that surfboard. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I love it. Uh, so now, let, we haven't go gone into sauces a lot. You know how? Because the sauces that's a competitive, uh, very competitive market, and uh, and shelf space is hard to get. Are you looking at selling those? out of the food truck or are you looking at selling those in a like a Publix as big in uh, Florida um, are you looking at getting in the uh, some chain stores okay I think the best way to start is like one step at a time and okay. what we were looking at is online through our website uh, which is being uh, re-updated redone we just hired someone to do that um, okay good and Selling them out to the different, or we, yep. I'm I'm losing you again. Let's see if I can get you back there. So this is. Uh, Obviously, he's got a uh, cell phone signal that's a little bit low there. A lot lost you again. Um, what I was saying, Jim, is to do Publix would be really phenomenally exciting and a bit scary, too. I, it's, yeah. I, it's best to take small steps to add to your line and to your products so that you develop that following and then then expand it yeah i agree yeah but because we, we, people otherwise you'd be doing a lot of sampling and stuff because you know you're you're well known in that area but uh getting known you know throughout a, the southeast takes some work and and a lot of dollars in marketing how well let's kind of wrap wrap this up because the signal's not very good and it's okay. difficult to uh uh, real, how many tr trucks are you looking to put on? And uh, if you add, you know, say two or three trucks, uh, do you have the business where those trucks are going to be running every single day? And do you have the manpower to keep 
the quality and the consistency of the wings the same as you're doing out of that one truck? We have the manpower. Okay. The locations, we want to be in different cities um, throughout Florida. So okay. we want someone in the center of the state. I'm down here in the southwest Florida. I have been down here for a year checking everything out. Um, we want someone up near the panhandle. But we want to start out in each of each different city. Now we know if we tried to say like we want to do 12 trucks at once, it is exciting that would be. It'd be just as overwhelming. We want yeah. to do it small, a couple trucks at a time. And uh, you do have a uh, uh, you do have a business plan. Yes, sir. Okay. I can and, email and that to you if you like. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you a message through chat with my email so that I can look at that, and you then. And so down in Naples, are you doing any business or is it just in St. Augustine right now? Just in St. Augustine. Okay. I've been down here meeting the different community directors for these gated communities. Okay. And with they got three different uh, food truck parks in the area. And there's festivals here, I have found out, going on every weekend. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, my sister's in Fort Myers, not far from there, and I know there's a lot of activities going on year-round down there. And actually, the summertime is really the, you know, snowbirds come in during the uh, the winter season, so that even picks up even more. So, well, uh, my, what, I would like to be able to get my foot into these communities with the truck so that when season comes, I'm who they're asking for all their barbecues and parties. Right. You said you have a big social media following. Is that primarily in, from the St. Augustine? And on, yes, on a number wise, how many followers between Instagram, Facebook and everything, how, how many followers do you feel that you have? Because that's important to get the message out to marketing. In the St. Augustine area, we got a few thousand. There are okay. some people that are like Chicago and that who have been down here have tried us and then, you know, picked up on it. Okay. Uh, hang on a minute. I don't know if we have somebody else jumping in. It looks like a third screen trying to come it in. Does. Um, and I'm getting a lot of pop-ups. Well, let's do this. Um, I don't know if it, maybe it's Eric that's trying to jump in. Uh, do you have, you might be do you have any other uh, restaurants, uh, locations, or anything like that? You said you're uh, doing some management. Do, do you have any other businesses in the food industry that you're uh, vested in? I got you back. I got you. And the third person dropped away. Third okay. picture dropped away. I see that. Um, are you involved in any other uh, food businesses that you're invested in right now? Just or is it just wing it? I lost you again. Well, let's do this, folks. We're gonna wrap it up. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and wrap it up uh, just because of the signal. And uh, I'm going to a message uh, wingman, which is Eric, a uh, message through uh, the platform and provide my email. And then if you could send me that business plan, that'd be great. You got it, Jim. OK, Thank you very thanks, much. everybody. Appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you download Pitch Investors Live and uh, everybody have a great rest of the day.